Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video we're going to be doing a full suspension rebuild on the Peugeot 206. I've got new wishbones, coil springs, rear mounts, shock absorbers, the work, so even a couple of extra bits that I just want to get done while I'm under the car. Uh, so without further ado let's get into today's video. If you're new to the channel then please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new because that will help out my channel greatly. Alright, let's get into it. So this is what we're going to be fitting on the car today. We've got two new coil springs, two new shock absorbers, two brand new wishbones slash control arms, two new rear mounts, and one of these things, and only one, because I actually fitted the first one last week, so this is actually the second one. I brought some Hammermite paint to paint over all the rusty sections to seal up the car a bit better. And to finish everything off, two brand new pinch bolts. I almost forgot, I've also got these to fit as well. That's one side out, and that's the second side out, yes. Now we get on to the painting. I have some smooth yellow Hammermite metal paint, which is meant to be no need, no need to primer undercoat, quick drying, and it's direct to rust, which is good, because what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be painting a few things down here, not everything, well, we'll see how it goes. Um, like I've got a bar back here, which connects all under the car. Uh, I think it's the anti-roll bar. Need, that's got rust on it, so I might as well paint that. Uh, might as well paint this, I'm changing the joints here, so might as well do a bit of painting there. Time to destroy a brand new paintbrush. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that on that, this side and the other side, then I'm painting some bits for the suspension which I've actually had in vinegar. So I'm going to clean those up, paint those, and that should all be good. Now that these two suspension cups are moderately de-rusted, scraped, scrubbed and just everything, it's time to dry them and paint them with the anti-rust yellow. Now have a look at these springs that I took off the car. They're not the same length. It snapped. All new parts for the inside bought. Brand new shock absorber.
I had previously stuck all the uh, components in vinegar and uh, this one came out a bit rusty but that's okay because there's actually an extra one right here. Out with the old and in with the new. Down here and under here, the control arm sits on rubber. Now that rubber is a little tough and isn't coming out, but I just so happen to have some spare Holtz silicone spray. And I'm hoping if I spray that on that, that might just slip out. Ugh. There we go, that's one thing took a lot longer to get out than anticipated. I think it's because the rubber is about 16 years old and the car is rusty and it just all gets stuck together and it's not, oh, not that great. <laughs> On my car, we've had a bolt that's been stuck for a while. As I'll show you, it is, this bolt here has been completely stuck. I filed it, I've chiseled it, it's just not coming up. So I went out and bought an angle grinder. I've never used one in my life. I don't know how well I'm going to do. Let's just try and cut this bolt in two. Good thing I got that bolt off the car yesterday, isn't it? Yes, it is, although my lips are completely chapped from this weather now. It's absolutely awful. That's besides the point, my car got egged last night. Very, very happy about that. Absolutely beautiful neighbors I have here. But that's not the point. We're gonna carry on with working on the car and not let a little thing like that push us back because of course I've got things to do this evening. So I've only got a couple hours working on the car today and I wanna get this done because I'm actually really close to finishing now. Let's do this. So for here, I've got some new bolts. I've got uh, some M14s over 80 mils, and then I bought some new flanged bolts, and I've also got two washers. Now the other ones had a flange section here, so what I'm doing for that is I'm sticking a bolt over, no sorry, a washer over the, with the bolt to give that more surface area, and then underneath, of course, I'm gonna be doing another, followed by the flange bolt. Now that's gonna go into here, into the hole, and then of course I'm gonna do one on the other side over there. So let me just reline this up all the way in. Underneath, we go. And then I'll finish tightening this off later, once we've got the other side. It's time to put this in. So I've been struggling on a little bit of the car and I've finally done it. I'll show you. So, I had some copper grease, so I put some copper grease around here and some copper grease in there and literally hammered it up, jacked it up under there. It was sideways facing this way. So on the back section here, this bit was hanging over and I could just whack it with this hammer. So it's on now. Now it's time to bend this down, the wishbone down and get it all into place and hope it all fits properly. Suspension arm in, all new bolts are in, this is all secured in, 
Uh, might need to de-rust this first, you know, with some brake cleaner. I did do some painting, as you can see, but I need to touch up on the painting. My paintbrush hardened, so I can't. Anyways, I've got to fill up with some new oil. And there you have it, a full suspension rebuild finished on the Peugeot 206. Agreed, there wasn't some things I put in the video, for instance, changing the track rod end. Realistically, it's you unscrewing it and screwing something on, it only took a few seconds. I put all new bolts in the car in the end on almost everything because I wanted the car to be completely safe. And yes, the car did pass its MOT, so I'm very, very grateful that I was able to complete it because I didn't think I'd be able to. And of course, I didn't want to make this video too long, hence why it's just over 10 minutes long, when in factuality, I've probably spent maybe half an hour plus on every single bit of the car doing it. It would have been a very, very long video. But I'm grateful that it's done, and it's time to move on to future things. In the future, I've got lots of ideas for this car, including a repaint, possibly next year. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching today's videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have a Peugeot 206 and you want to let me know about it, then comment below. Or if you've done anything to your car yourself, let me know in the comments below, because I'd really like to know what should I do to this car? What color should I paint it? Is there any modifications that I should do for future videos? I'd love to know. But until next time, guys, adios, my Miss Amigos, and I'll see you then. Goodbye. The end. Like this video!